sometimes when I write something that's like really vulnerable, like, didn't I do it for you? Why don't I do it for you? Like, in the center of myself, I know that that's a very like human feeling. So when I thought of the video concept, to be asking somebody, didn't I do it for you whilst doing these amazing tricks on the pole and like getting your life? Like it's, you know, to me, there's almost something humorous about that. I'm sure that other people won't see it that way, but to me, like it's sick and it's funny and it feels powerful. Didn't I do it for you? Am I not enough? Like, I'm more than enough. You can't even handle it. When all I do is for you, and didn't I do it for you? Why won't I die for you? Why won't you do it for me? When all I do is for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I basically learned pole dancing because I had this idea for the video a year ago. Brilliant is what that is. I do train like an athlete, so things have to get strict, you know, making sure I'm having enough protein and making sure I'm sleeping, napping, doing cardio twice a day, training on the pole for at least two hours a day, then doing some sort of cross training, making sure you stretch, doing yoga, taking care of, of, of any strain. <laughs> I'm training so hard at the moment. I just have to like listen to my body. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm excited actually. We're going to Kia. In case of illegal parking, the procedure of the illegal tail away will be applied. Careful. What time is call time tomorrow? Uh, at the moment, it's looking like a nine o'clock. So if I go to bed early, then I can go to the gym at 7 a.m. So where are you going now? To the gym and to the back to the pole dance routine. Okay. a lot of hard work that went into making the video happen on a creative level on a business level on a physical three, level two. it's all very well you know me going and doing like a three minute routine that's easy but the difficult thing is knowing that you have the stamina and the strength to be able to do that three minute routine for eight hours and that's something different so there's kind of training to be able to do the moves and then there's training to not be holding up a set as well and and i've come from a, a background of being a dancer and being on set a lot and 
you know, even though now I'm the artist and I'm the eye of the store, my mentality is still as if I'm the backing dancer, third rows back on the right. When you're in that position, like you don't want to be the one making somebody have to do another take. To be on set for me is a dream, like it's where I, to, it's where I thrive, to be able to have my creative family all working towards the same goal. I feel like I have the A-team, so if you're coming in at a, a 10 out of 10, then that's when you can really imprint on culture. And I always think it's about changing the cultural DNA. If you're concentrating on one thing, something else is going to take a hit. <laughs> something always takes a hit. It's like spinning plates. And, and that's okay. Like, that's growing and that's life. And at this point, I'm completely okay with it. I just, I just try to make sure I don't lean too far in one direction, which sometimes I do and I need to, like, pull it back. And that's okay as well. That's one thing I'm realizing is just try and go easy on myself and manage my expectations of others and and be honest. Right now, at this age, what I'm doing feels right. You know, five years' time, things might look very differently, but right now, I feel like I'm on the right path. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.